Today, we're going to look at a claim in John chapter 10, where Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I invite you to open your Bibles with me, and we're going to begin by looking at verses 14 and 15, where we read the claim. Here's what we find. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Boy, I love that. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. This claim, I think, is really special because unlike the other claims, it doesn't just tell us who Jesus is and what he does, but this claim tells us how he feels about us, which I think is great. Now, of course, I've never been a shepherd. I know very little about raising sheep. But one of the good things is that there are plenty of people who have uh, been shepherds who then later became pastors and actually wrote books about the experience. One particular book that I was reading discussed what an intimate relationship a shepherd has with their sheep. He names each one. He knows them by name. And he leads them out each and every day to find green pastures, to to drink and to feed so that the flock can be well taken care of. And this particular shepherd described how when he brings the flock out that actually the shepherd would get up on a high ridge so that he could see every sheep and be able to look right into their eyes and then would constantly be scanning the horizon uh, looking to see if there's any danger coming at all. Now, why does a shepherd do that? Why is a shepherd always paying attention to each sheep uh, looking into their eyes, why is he constantly scanning the horizon? Uh, it actually is sal- telling us something that's not too flattering about ourselves, that we are like sheep. And what are sheep like? Well, this is what this passage tells us, that we're spiritually dependent and we lack self-sufficiency. You know, the interesting thing about sheep is they really are defenseless creatures. You know, other animals, like I even think about my house pets. I have a dog and I have a cat. They have sharp teeth. They have claws. They can defend themselves. Sheep can't do that. You know, from time to time, my cat, which is totally a house cat, gets out. Uh, Somehow or another, it gets outside, and we go looking for it, and we can't find it. And there's been several times where the cat's been gone for hours, and we we even got to the point where we said, well, I guess that's it. The cat might be gone. But surprisingly... Five, six hours later, we hear meow, meow outside the door. The cat found its way back. You know, cats can do that, but sheep can't. When they wander off, they're gone. They don't have that homing device that brings them back. You know, it's interesting. There are some animals that are domesticated that if they get out like dogs, they can figure it out and even become wild again. They begin to forage around. They begin to find food. They can defend themselves against attackers, not sheep. You know, if sheep wander off, basically a wild sheep equals a dead sheep. You're in a lot of trouble. What does this say about us? That Jesus is the good shepherd, and he says, I know my sheep. What it means is is this. We're just like sheep. We're totally dependent, and we lack self-sufficiency. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, come on, I can take care of myself. That's what sheep think. They're constantly overestimating their own ability, which is why when they wander off, they're they're unaware what kind of danger they're in. Man, I tell you, we overestimate our own ability all the time. You can see it in so many ways. Just think about your own life. In fact, uh, think about yourself 10 years ago or 20 years ago. When you think about when you were like 20 years ago, what do you think about yourself? I think, man, I was so naive. Look at all the things I didn't know back then. And what I generally think to myself is, good thing I'm finally getting over that. But am I? I mean, probably the truth is, 20 years from now, I'll look back on myself today and think, man, (laughs) look how naive I was. See, I'm overestimating my abilities. Uh, One of the places you see this is in talent shows, like a singing show, American Idol. Uh, I think it's so fascinating to watch. Uh, People come in, they think they are the best singer in the world. 
and they get up with this big smile and they think they're about to come out a superstar and they start singing and all the judges are just like, <coughs> they're, they're trying not to laugh. Why? Because we tend to overestimate ourselves. You can just think about history. I mean, generally speaking, in any given generation, what does that generation think about their grandparents? Well, they think they're so old fashioned, they're so out of touch, they're so out of tune. Look how much they don't know about life. Our generation is finally getting it all figured out, but of course our grandparents' generation, they, you know, they were dolts, they didn't understand anything. And of course, our grandparents thought the same way about their grandparents. And what point am I making? That in any given generation, we're overestimating ourselves just like sheep. I was reading a book written by a pastor who used to be a shepherd, and he said the interesting thing is that when a shepherd goes after a lost sheep, when he finally finds it, you would think that the sheep would be so grateful and jump up into the shepherd's arms, but that's not the case. He said that most often what the shepherd has to do is actually run and tackle the sheep, because even though the sheep is totally lost, is in harm's way, it could even be on the precipice of death, that sheep doesn't know what kind of trouble it's in. Anyway, when Jesus says, I know my sheep, one of the things he knows about us is how weak we are, how we lack self-sufficiency, and how much we depend upon him. He knows our foibles. He knows our troubles. And yet, he says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And I love this. Jesus, even though he knows all those things about us, feels a certain way. He, he loves us. He guards us. He protects us. This passage says, I know my sheep, and my sheep know me.